shit. I finally got my bread right. I'm finna cop me an eighth, cop me a wood, and I got that weed, I got that white. I got what you need, nigga, come get right. Nigga, do you got that gas? Nigga, do you see these butts on me? They don't call me OG Smoke, aka Kush Guy, aka OG Butt Man, aka Smoke Dog, aka. Bro, shut the fuck up. Don't nobody give a fuck about your nicknames, and don't nobody even call you that shit. Look, do you got that pack or what? Yeah, folks, yeah, folks, yeah, folks, yeah, 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 yeah folks. Meet me, down the, meet me down the block. Meet me down the block. I'm gonna get you right. I'm gonna get you right. I'm gonna get you right. Man, that's doing the most, but I right. God, I hope this nigga don't have no bullshit. God, is hot as hell. What's that smell? Bro, I smell like warm turtle tank in this bitch. Oh, you foul. What's good, people of YouTube? It's Dank the Great here, bringing you a motherfucking story. But, before we even get into the motherfucking story, I'm going to tell you what this shit that I'm playing is right now. So, the shit that I'm playing is One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. I don't know if most of y'all motherfuckers fuck with the anime and shit, but there's some shit that I fuck with. And if you know about One Piece and you know about how the story and shit go, well... This the game for you, my nigga. You go start off from the beginning and work your way up to the shit that's going on now. But enough about that. We're going to go into my story. So this is the time that I got caught up at a football game. Now, I was 16 years old at the time, and I had just recently broken up with my ex-girlfriend. And in this story, we're going to call my ex-bitch Julia. But shit, you might be thinking, oh shit, that's one of them sob love stories. And shit, you right. But this is also one of them stories of how a nigga learned how to stun on a bitch, too. So, nigga, don't get, don't get shit fucked up now. <laughs> Just don't get shit fucked up. Uh. But anyways, I went to my cousin's house after school and started playing Mortal Kombat 9 with my brother cousin, Day Day. As soon as we started playing the game, I heard my phone start going off constantly. And I check it. Oh, and behold, your boy got a little Insta DM. And I find out it's this fine little Barbie doll. Like, I mean... This, this, this bitch was just something that you ain't even know how you pulled. I mean, like, she was an elite white girl. Like, she was one of them girls that you done pulled and had to think about, like, damn, I might just end up marrying this bitch. And you only, like, 16? <laughs> oh, man. But back to the story, man. We gonna, we gonna call this girl Barbie. And the little situation I had going on with Barbie is that I wanted to be cool with her. But at the same time, somewhere down the road, I was going to try to make her mind. You know what I'm saying? We finna, finna have a whole little family, a white picket fence, and some dogs and all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, I also wanted this little other girl. You know what I'm saying? Why, why I wanted Barbie. So we're going to call this girl Bailey. So anyways, I ended up sliding in Bailey's DM shortly after I got done with that, you know what I'm saying, but right after I was done hitting up Bailey, I get a text from my ex-girlfriend, Juliana, saying something among the lines of, I hope we can be friends, and I know what you're thinking, this nigga finna get back with his ex, <laughs> wrong, nigga, I wasn't finna be the dummy, so I just told her, we can be cool, and that's it, like, what, what the fuck I look like being with a bitch that already done did me, man, fuck that, we not, we not finna work that move, oh, and uh, side note, the girls, Juliana and Barbie, they stay in the same city as me and go to the same school as me. However, the shorty Bailey, she stay in another city and goes to a whole different school. You see where I'm going with this? All right. Keep that shit in mind for later, shorty. So fast forward. Two weeks later, it's a Friday on homecoming week. The school bell rang and I start making my way to the front of the school. As I get closer to the front doors, I hear someone yell my name, Antonio! I look over and I see it's Juliana. So, I got up with Juliana, and shit, she had asked me to walk her home, and <laughs> naturally, my dumb ass said yes. So, when, when her and I started walking to our house, we fucked around and just started walking down the street, and then I noticed, it's some dude with some shorts that look like the ones that I got at home, that I left at my auntie's crib. So shit, I look at him, he look at me, all of a sudden, he start walking towards me, and as the nigga get closer... I look at this nigga and I'm like, ah, oh, shit is day day. So I'm like, nigga, why you steal my shorts? And this nigga looked at me with a straight face and said, I don't know why you're with a lying asshole. 
<laughs> and I, I kid you not. As soon as he said, I don't know why you with a lying ass hoe. I made this face. <laughs> <laughs> so then after after uh, Dede had said that, Juliana, she going to look at me and say, you're not going to say anything? <laughs> And after that, my cousin, he look at me with this face, and his face says, nah, bro, this ain't it, chief. Go home, bro. <laughs> so I stood there and thought, damn, my cousin is right. Why would I want to be friends with a, with a lying-ass hoe, man? That's dumb. But on the other hand, that's potential pussy I could hit again. But in the end, I ended up listening to Day Day and left her ass on the sidewalk. <laughs> Oh shit, I left our ass on the sidewalk and we continued to go to my cousin's crib. As we was making our way to his house, we saw a bunch of homecoming floats. And I see this truck. They got this fine ass piece of little white chocolate. When all of a sudden, I recognized the fine piece of white chocolate. It's Barbie. And the minute I realized this, I also realized another thing. She had just seen me with Juliana. And she gonna think I'm fucking with her again and... And as soon as I thought that, I get a notification from Barbie on Snapchat. So I open up the snap, and boom, it's a picture with me and Juliana standing next to each other. With the caption that says, I see boys don't get tired of worn out toys. I'ma just fall back. (sighs) Now after realizing I fucked up, I started texting Barbie, explaining to her that it wasn't like that. And eventually, I got shit back to normal. Up until I got a text from Bailey saying how she wanted to fuck with me heavier than what we had going on at the time. And now at this point, I I wasn't trying to deal with Bailey anymore because I had a feeling she was going to be a temporary person. And thinking about it now, it would have been a lot easier to do what that nigga K-Camp said. What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say, Mari? It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Do-do-do. It ain't on that cut that bit. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I, I ain't shit. <laughs> but again, this was me being dumb and not thinking about it. But anyways, I decided to keep Bailey on the side in case things with Barbie ain't work out. So I told her we can work on that. And after an hour, after my uh, grand fuck up. I started talking to Barbie again and asked her if she wanted to go to the homecoming game. And she said yes. I So fast forward, Daddy and I go to the football game, link up with our people until I spot my little Barbie doll. So shit, about an hour into the game, me and my nigga get hungry and decide I'm going to go flex with, for Miss Barbie real quick. You know what I'm saying? I had to go to the little concession stand, come back with hella snacks and shit. And then when I'm going up to my baby girl, all them other bitches, they're going to be like, damn. I wish my nigga would do that for me. And shit, they just gonna have to be stuck feeling stupid because they nigga ain't finna do that. <laughs> so yeah, I go ahead, go to the concession stand, get a whole bunch of food, you know what I'm saying? F- flex it for my girl. I don't even know why the fuck I bought a whole bunch of food for her, to be honest, because it's just like, I bought a whole bunch of food for a football game knowing that we was gonna lose when I could have just bought some fucking goldfish or some shit from home, but... Whatever, niggas, niggas, niggas dumb as hell. I was not thinking about that. <laughs> I at least spent like a good uh, $20 on concessions just to watch my football team lose. Like, yeah, I feel like that that food should, and shit should have been free because we just paid to watch these niggas lose. <laughs> oh, shit. So I get hella food and honestly, I start making my way back. And then I hear somebody. Like, I'm hearing somebody call my name, but I wasn't sure if they was calling my name or if they was calling another Antonio. So I ignore it up until I get closer to where I need to go. And shit, next thing you know, I turn around and all of a sudden my heart jumps into my fucking stomach. I bump into Bailey and my heart just starts bracing fast as hell for two reasons. Because one, I ain't even know Shreddy was there. And two... I don't know if Barbie moved and she could see where I'm at, but shit. Shortly after, Bailey started reaching for a hug and knowing the little, knowing me, shit, the little devil was a hop on my shoulder and the nigga was like, man, fuck it, give her a hug, bro. It don't mean shit. And the angel had shrugged his shoulders and looked at me and was like, for once, I agree with this nigga. So I went for it 
And after she gonna say, I came here to surprise you. And in the back of my head, I'm thinking, bitch, why? Why? <laughs> oh, shit. But shit, I was thinking that. And uh, why? Out of all the days, like, you, you, you could have came any other day of the week. But you choose to do homecoming week the day that I decide to have my fucking date. Why? Why? Why couldn't you just, you know what I'm saying, ignore me until the next day type shit? Man. <sighs> bitches ain't shit. Bitches, bitches is selfish. That's some selfish ass shit right there. I tell you that much, man. <laughs> so as soon as, as soon as me and Bailey wrap things up, Daddy turns to me and was like, "Nigga, you know," and I had to cut him off and say, "Nigga, I know. I gotta lay low." <laughs> I made my way back to the safe, warm arms of my little Barbie doll. As the football game went on, the night it got colder, so Barbie pulled out a cover, and then your boy had to get booed up for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Grab a little booty cheek. All that. <laughs> uh, why are you looking at me like that, cuz? Uh... <laughs> so, boom. Me and her, we caught a limb for a minute, and all of a sudden, I stop and think. I'm like, damn, life life is really good right now. You know what I'm saying? I got a little Barbie doll wrapped up around me. You know what I'm saying? Got hella snacks, chilling with my cousin. We got a weak-ass football game we watching. Life is good. Nigg niggas can't complain about shit, honestly. Like, man, I'm fucking living life right now. Up until I heard some footsteps coming down from the bleachers. And I just kept my head straight. I'm just minding my own business. When all of a sudden I hear a, Antonio, Juliana says thank you for the kisses from the other day. My heart went straight into my fucking ass, bro. My face went like this. <laughs> Your boy made the sour chowder face. <laughs> But the reason why my face went like this simply was because I thought it was going to be over. And I thought I was going to get clowned. Man, man, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to end this video right now. Clock. Then Barbie looks at me and says, why the fuck did she come over here starting shit? And I looked at her and said, shit, I don't know. Shit. She just starting shit because that's my ex. And you know what I'm saying? That's my ex's friend, so you know, them, them bitches, they finna stick together and flock together. You already know how this shit go. And shit. If you wondering, shorty, I, I, ain't, I ain't kiss her, so, man, you, you ain't got nothing to worry about. And then she just looked at me and said, well, that's that bitch's loss in my game, baby. <laughs> and in the back of my head, I'm thinking, yes, yes. <laughs> So skip ahead, next thing you know, the football game's over, and we lost 14 to 117. I know, the fucking high school sucks, you ain't gotta tell me. <laughs> I start to go back to my auntie's house and start recapping the day-day on how Juliana's friend was fucking me up, and me and Barbie's day up. And then, I get a text message. I continued the convo, and then two minutes later. After the, the last ringtone, I just turned it off and continued to recap the data until I was done. So, once I was done, I grabbed my phone to see what's going on. And next thing you know, I got three text messages stacked on top of each other. And the order goes, Barbie, hey, uh, can I ask you something? Bailey, so you telling me this is what you want? Juliana. Hey, Exy, you busy? The thing that threw me off and that had me thinking was the fact that they texted me around the same time frame. And I just said, fuck it. Let's see what's going on. And I opened Bailey's message first, only to find a picture of me kissing on Barbie. Followed by a long paragraph that I replied, what you mean? When I knew exactly what the fuck she meant. <laughs> But I told her she can't be mad at me because I'm messing with someone and I told you we can work on that. I know, asshole move, right? But it made sense because I knew she wasn't going to fuck with me for real. Plus, she was hung up on her ex. So I didn't care which way it went. But yeah, you know how that shit go. Shortly after, I messaged Barbie back and yep, you guessed it. It's a screenshot of a conversation between her and Juliana. I was fried, bro. 
I was fucking fried. I thought this shit was going to be over. But then Bobby was like, look, honestly, I'm not for the games, bro. And you got a lot of shit going on. And I need to know, do I need to bounce or what? And boy, my heart dropped fast as fuck. Nigga, I just said, fuck it. I don't want these hoes. I want my Barbie. <laughs> so shit. Finally, after I get done dealing with Barbie, I get a text from Juliana saying, hey, actually, you busy. And you know what the fuck I said to this bitch? Wake me up in traffic. Fell asleep everywhere.